Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're truly really loaded into the mad high load of Plus's Army, just swiftening Glow 22, Boxes Madman. Good to swag it to this 13 and all around neutral guy. Non aggressive, good. Now, who are they? Hello, what's this place? Welcome to the Grub and Gulf. What is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. May I ask you some questions? Sure, fire away. Is there any place to buy weapons and armor? I think there are a few places, but I've heard that the gun runners sell the best. Thank you. Where can I find a doctor around Dr. here? Dr. Usanagi runs a medical clinic up the road. Thank you. Let's talk about something else. All right, then. Show me what you have sure to say. Anything else I can do for you? You don't have any money, bye. See you later. Because I don't think I have any small stuff right now. Hello? You need water? I got water. Clean and fresh. Straight from Lake Mead. If you're low on caps, I've also got slightly irradiated wasteland water. A little fallout never killed anybody. Right, uh, See ya. Until next time. I don't need your water. What they could do with is finding the gun runners or the clinic. I wonder, do I have these locations marked on my map now? There's the New Vegas Medical Clinic and there's the gun runners. Yeah, I have those marked on the map. Do we go to the gun runners first or the clinic first? What do you think, Boone? You don't seem too opinionated. I guess that's fine. Is there any way to actually get into, well, near the gun runners from here? Guess I'm not entirely convinced. That looks like a wall. This looks like some sort of a compound. Maybe I should remain hidden. Alright. Sneak it the sneak, stealth the stealth. Let's see what there is to find in this box. If this side is to charge by nothing. That's nice. Wait. I don't think this zooms in much further than the usual. The smoke there. I suppose we should investigate. At least we know they're not the instantly aggressive people, whoever it is that's down there. Oh, it's NCR folks. I think they should be fine. Yeah. Hello? What's up? Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Yeah, I punched them. It's night time right now though. Should be pretty cool at night. Since, you know, does it? It's what they do. They chill down during the night. No sea to keep them warm during the night. During the night. Because I'm repeating words. You know, I might as well continue. Okay, the gun runner is, is supposedly in that direction somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I think I only saw the aftermath of that. Kind of curious about who those were there. Also kind of curious about who those might be. 
Well, this is an NCR patrol. This should be fine. Yo. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. So people say. Alright, I see a corpse. And it belongs to a fiend. Surprisingly enough, it didn't actually have any weapons. Nothing worth looting. Where's the gun runners? What direction? Further up north. Huh. Well. Guess I maybe should have expected that. Can we? Orion Moreno's house. Who is Orion Moreno? Hello, yes. How is your house this large on the inside? Oh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Do you have something against the NCR? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Never mind that I've already been living here for years. What did you around? Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. So what did you do before you were retired? I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. Okie dokie. Bye. <laughs> hmm. To you too. Anything worth stealing? You probably would. I rather than steal anyway. So let's carry on. But that might be the gun runners. I have a map marker in that direction, which may or may not point to the gun runners. And I think it does. Yeah. Nice. This will mean I will be able to sell all my rubbish, I think. What is this? Companion Dismissal Terminal. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Uh, show me what you have for sale. I am ready to process our transaction. Excellent. Oh, that's a lot of caps. Not convinced. Should I get the sniper rifle or should I get the scope for a hunting rifle? Made with the scope. Alright, I think this will do for now. Actually, no, I... Uh, 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 okay. Goodbye. Come back and see us again soon. I might. So, I decided to go the way of... Well, I mentioned this probably. Just putting a rifle... Uh, scope on this which will allow me to take down my foes from a larger distance which is pleasant which means people will be dead quicker now where's the next place I need to visit the clinic is that the clinic it might not be the clinic. The clinic might be a fair distance off. The clinic's further north. These within these walls might be the Crimson Garrow and, and I was meant to have business with them, I think. Some business anyway. No. This area doesn't look very safe, does it? Nah. It apparently is though, relatively. Ooh. Thanks for that, Eddie. Or Eddie, or whichever you were. There's a red marker, some marker somewhere in that direction. Shall we clinic first or... Ah, uh, yeah. Where's your doctor? 
I'm here for treatment. She might be asleep there. Oh, no, 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 she's awake. No, that's a medical student. Yeah, Dr. Rizanagi is asleep. Nothing wrong Welcome with some to the sleep New Vegas surgery. Medical clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. What kind of implants do you have available? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. I want to buy an implant. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Uh, I want to be more intelligent. For 4,000 caps, I can install a logic coprocessor. Yes, the caps. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. Hey, hey, wake up. You're back. Do you need medical attention? I would like to buy an implant. Right. Let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right, you're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? Um, how about enhancing my endurance? Or no, let's go the with perception. The optics enhancer, as the name suggests, gets attached directly to your optic nerve. The price is four thousand caps. Thank you. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. And the next 4,000 caps we get, we go with agility, I think. Should do. The trick. Shoom. Right then. And now, off to the Grimson Garen. I, I suppose we could do that. Have a word with them. Right, hey yep. there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. All right. I forgot about that. So what's next for you? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. Cool. Who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. Thank you, goodbye. I'll see you around. Maybe. That would be so useful. Morning. God, Blake. Hello, Blake. No, you're not Blake. You're Blake. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right... Okay, what do you have? Can do. You have a can-do attitude, that will do. What are these books? Oh well, let's go. See ya. See ya. Yes, that's what I said. See ya. Morning. Caravania. Caravania. Actually, I don't know if I want to talk to anyone here. We're supposed to recommend it that I should. By they, I mean that one lady. Hello. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? I'd like to know more about the. I'd like to know more about the Crimson Caravan Company. Certainly. What would you like to know? Uh, I don't actually have right. any questions. See so, ya. Yeah, I'm looking for. I'm work. afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Uh, what do we need to do? Deliver this invoice to Doctor Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. All right, it's been yeah. a pleasure. Right, Cass was um who recommended that we go this way. All right, 
And this shield helped me get to where I need to be, actually. Which, oddly enough, appears to be a different place from... Where we were originally headed, I think, maybe. Hmm. Whatever that red marker was has apparently disappeared. Hello, Dunder Snakes. You got something you want to say? Hello, King's Gang. If you're heading to the strip, just go through the gate there. Thanks. Gamblers, Oris, and. This Hello. gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. Wait, what are you? What's the deal? You're selling food, I think. Your deal is easy to understand. Okay, what do we have around here? Is it child? Probably shouldn't. There's a rat. Are you okay? Pro probably the child's pet. Yeah, I'm fine. What nice this way? Old Las Vegas Mormon State History Park. I didn't know this was here. I don't think I ever went there in when I last played this. So this is surprising. Oh my. Ooh. Yeah, I see you, Red Marker. See? The scope is useful. Where did the attack come from, though? I probably wouldn't have noticed him if I hadn't somehow managed to get into battle. Oh well. Battle music to the rescue. This is the Pioneer Cafe. Which is closed. Uh, just my luck. Then I suppose we should go through that. There's someone there. They probably shoot her in the head. She wouldn't even know anything happened. Probably shouldn't. Just a local. Hmm? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just dog. Alright. Uh, that doesn't look like there's anything in that direction. So how do I get anywhere? You must know something, right? Come to right? Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Ah, well you know that Come much. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. So onwards this way. Huh. Uh, um. I don't think I need to do anything in this direction just yet. Hmm. Ah, there's the strip. And that's where I'm headed. Unless something prevents me from entering the place, which may be possible. Absolutely possible. Who is that? Oh, bam. Nice to meet you, you look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't they want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Ah, thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Ah, courier. I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher, how did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, 
People around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Quiet, what does that chap? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched a woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Well, wrong place at the wrong time if you ask me. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. You said escort, like on guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. So you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job too. But after a while I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Yeah. Gun for her? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again, and after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Nice. So let's talk about something else. All right. Like, goodbye. See ya. Um, I probably shouldn't have spent all my money then, eh? I didn't count for that. Watch out! He didn't even get to finish his line. You're the greeter, right? Or well, gatekeeper. Oh. Stop spinning around so I can talk to you. Alright, just... Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah? All right. What are you? Okay. So to talk? a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. A credit check? What's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all. Into the strip. Ah. Well, I guess I'll see you then. Because I needed to level up first. Please return when you have sufficient cash or password. Yeah. Sure. Right, if I shoot that. And that. And where else is there a photo shoot? Well, actually, no, I just need to level up. How much until I level up? Like status. Wait, no. Uh, just a few dead foes. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when I'll get those. 400 XP. Bye. You looking for trouble? Uh, no, 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 no. Well, actually, yes, but not with you, Boone.